because it looks the worst outside. <laughs> and I don't want to be a negative na Nancy <laughs> or a Karen, but look at this. I'm gonna be a negative April. I don't think you can even see it, but the clouds are moving so incredibly fast. I don't think I've ever seen them moving this fast. It's so windy. And there is like this ice crystal blowing through the air. It is not snowing, but all of the moisture in the air has frozen and it's just like you can see the wind. <laughs> it's terrible out there. Look at the clouds. I almost feel like we should do a time lapse. Like it, I've never seen anything like it. They're super low. It's like scary. It almost looks like the nothing is coming. Really. Look. It's horrifying. That doesn't look normal. Maybe someone's controlling the weather. It looks like an X-Man is down there like starting a tornado. What is going on? That is a funnel cloud. Okay. Just kidding. Really though? Really look at it. The more I look at that cloud, the more it looks like it's turning into a funnel cloud. It's really actually creeping me out. In other news, I think it's gonna be fine. It is, <laughs> it's starting to snow more. You can see. That is just fine and dandy. That is not fun snow. That is bone chilling ice crystals smacking you in the face. <laughs> okay, so listen. I am going to clean the house. I'm going to organize the house, clean the house. Davey and Zade are going on their date today. And originally I thought Zade was going to ask to go skiing, but I'm so thankful that he did not because in Utah, we have extreme avalanche danger right now. And I'm sure it's even worse today because I can see the mountains right now are getting dumped on. And we had not the greatest snowpack this year. It was kind of like really cold and icy and not a ton of snowfall. And then over like four days, we just got like massive amounts of powder just like stacked on top of the ice. And so they were like announcing like even the ski resorts were not safe. Like there was nowhere safe in the mountains. Just stay away from the mountains. That's what they were just telling everyone here. Um, because they said avalanches are going to be extreme. They're not, they're indefinite. Like for sure they're gonna happen. They're gonna be extreme and possible like even new places that have never had avalanches before will have avalanches because it was so bad. So I'm so glad he didn't want to go skiing because <laughs> they're still opening them. They're just like closing off the backcountry parts and stuff. And then they're telling everyone that's going skiing to bring an avalanche beacon, even if they're on the groom trails. But I don't even want to deal with that. So <laughs> I'm glad he's not going to do that. Instead, he wanted to go do go-kart racing, which I think is much safer today <laughs> than skiing. But also very fun, so hopefully they have a good time. But Noodle is obsessed with shoes. Guys, he will he will not be happy unless he has those shoes on. Those are his favorite ones. I wouldn't believe it. I, I believe sometimes parents think their kids are obsessed, but he is literally obsessed. Like he cries until you put them on in the morning and then when you take them off to give him a nap, he like cries. And they're kind of like too tight. I need to go up a size. I need to go find the exact same pair in every size. <laughs> They're like getting so tight on him that they're leaving little indents on the top of his chubby feet. So he's outgrowing them and he loves them so much he doesn't want to stop wearing them. Okay. Now I think he's trying to get inside the cupboard. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you up to? You silly goosin'. That's not gonna end how you think it's gonna end. Noodle! Bye bye. If only that shelf wasn't there, your head wouldn't be getting crushed, huh? <laughs> He's trying so hard to get in the cupboard. Oh my gosh, he's so funny. Uh oh.
cookie. Say cookie. Cookie. Caca. Yeah, cookie. Caca. You're starting to talk more, huh, Noodle? Okay, say bye bye. <laughs> oh, was your hand getting pinched? <laughs> Hi, cookie. Hi, cookie to rainbow pup. Also, I'm rocking my Bergette Brianna. Um, Run around skirt and effortless hoodie. I think that's what it's called. So I love, love, love this. I have it in black and gray. And I feel like I look put together, like I could go out and run and buy groceries or whatever and not feel like I'm in sweats, but I feel like I'm in sweats. So it's like the best thing ever. It's the most comfy thing I have. So um, I'm gonna clean the house in a day. Like I feel like I could do everything this. I could. Clean the house, show up at like a church thing. I could like run errands, everything. It's the everything outfit. It's like the, the stylish moo moo. You feel like you're wearing a moo moo, but it doesn't look like you're wearing a moo moo. Oh, and I have a code for her website, which is very rare to come by because they don't run sales and they don't do discounts. But if you have an affiliate code is the only way to get the discounts. So um, it's April 10, you can get 10% off your order and I'm pretty sure you have to go to their website to do it, so I'll put a link in the description. They also have an app, but I don't think you can get the discount through the app, so there's the pro of using the website is you can get the 10% off. Okay, you've officially crossed the line, Noodle. Ripping up the scriptures, seriously? Listen, that's a no answer. Luckily, these were already ripped up from when Ender was a baby and they were my old ones, I have new ones now. Ender's been using these, but luckily he's about to get a new set because his birthday is just in a few days and on their birth eighth birthday, they get their own with their name on it. So, when they get baptized, so. <laughs> Let's just replace some of this ripped pages because we still don't want to rip them. No, okay, that's a no answer. Okay, Noodle. What do you have to say for you? Yeah. He's so cute. Don't fall. Okay, me and Zade are out of here. April's making some lunch, getting some deviled eggs. Why are they deviled? What does the devil have to do with it? Because they're so good, they're simple. Oh. Uh -huh. Huh? I don't know. Wouldn't candy be called deviled candy? Maybe because you sprinkle red on it? The devil's red? I don't know. Why deviled eggs? Do you guys know? The devil's really red. Do you know? If you do, Comment in your head and uh, let me know if you uh, know why they're called deviled eggs. Dinner tonight is cauliflower soup. Um, Daisy actually requested this at our family meeting. And I think we're gonna do some salad too. So we'll have soup, salad, and then we have a sourdough loaf over there from a couple days ago that we will eat up. And then I will make more sourdough tonight. I love spending time feeding my family and I love cooking. I love I love just making delicious food and then eating it together as a family. That's one of the things that I have found that brings us the closest. And I feel like it's just the family glue. So I am glad I enjoy it because I know a lot of people don't. But I think even if you don't think you enjoy it, maybe it's time to give it another try and try to find the joy and find the good in it because it can be very rewarding. You want another strawberry? Go eat your yogurt first. They're eating a few snacks before I'm done with dinner. But um, I got this recipe on all, rec all recipes and I think it's called roasted cauliflower soup. It's super simple. The main ingredient is cauliflower. There's onions and heavy cream and I think maybe some milk and salt and pepper. Okay, you can search this recipe on all recipes. Fabulous roasted cauliflower soup. And I just follow it exactly. I'm just gonna go for it.
picked up for, I forgot to pick up shallots, which are just like those little red onions. And so now I'm just using a yellow onion and I'm sure it's gonna be fabulous still. So basically you just put the olive oil, the onion, the garlic. Um, you're supposed to toss them together. I just kind of rub them together on the tray and then you bake them in the oven for 30 minutes. So we got those roasting. And while that's roasting, I put four cups of broth, which I usually use like actual broth, but this time I just did bouillon and water because I didn't have any broth. I need to go buy some more. So then I have um, a bay leaf, some dried thyme, and two cups of heavy cream and salt and pepper. And that's it. And then you use an immersion blender to blend it all up after it's boiled for another like, I think 30 minutes. No, yeah, another 30 minutes. So it takes about an hour of cooking. So 30 minutes in the oven, 30 minutes on the stove, blend it up. Guys, I'm telling you, it's so delicious, especially when you butter some sourdough bread and toast it and dip it in there, it's like, it's the perfect recipe for the freezing, blistering cold day. <laughs> Blister, blustery day, is that what they say? I say blistering, that's not right. It's a very blustery day outside. So there you go. Cauliflower soup for the win. And I'm gonna start boiling this right now, just so that, I'm low, just so that when the cauliflower's done, I'm ready to just toss it in and like, it boils a little bit faster. So if I turn it on simmer, I can just crank it up to boil. Cool. Let's see if he does it again. <laughs> Say, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not gonna do it for the camera, just chest pumps. <laughs> Say, ow. He says, ow, uh-oh. Said uh -oh. it many times, he's just saying, uh-oh. Pretend oh. like he's Oh. Noodle say, uh-oh. <laughs> He's messing with you. Cauliflower soup, yummy, you're amazing, and lovely. Uh oh. Nino say, uh oh. Uh oh. I'll say, uh oh. <laughs> what? Ew. Uh oh. Ah, better. That's better. Say thank you, Mama. Oh. Mm. Here, if you use the spoon, it's easier to eat it. See? Say, oh. You know, say, uh oh. All right. It's family movie night time. So we're gonna go have family movie night. Daisy Lee carried this down. All right guys, that does it for the vlog today. We watched The Other Side of Heaven 2. If you haven't seen it, I rec fully recommend it. You should probably watch The Other Side of Heaven 1 first. Great, great family movie, so good. Fully recommend it. Totally enjoyable, just heartwarming and inspirational. So, okay guys, find good in everything. See you tomorrow.